Hey guys, it's Crackers. Welcome back to House Flipper. We are back here and we have bought those two houses. That's where we left off last time. We finished our ColourPop house and now we are at House in the Thicket, I think it's called. Yeah, House in the Thicket. And we also have the Home Alone house, but I thought I would just bring you guys back and have a look. It's my first time seeing them. I'm sure it's many of yours not first time seeing them, but um, I wanted to kind of have a look with you guys. I'm trying to decide which house to do next. Obviously, this one has a lot, a lot of work to do. Lots of cleaning up. Probably aren't going to get a whole lot done today. Um, I really, really like and thank you for, again, all your guys' suggestions. I... I just really appreciate them because they kind of just, you know, after doing over a hundred episodes, you start to kind of like burn out a little bit and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Ooh, there's cockroaches here. There's a lot of little rooms in this place. Where the heck are these all going? It's like a maze. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Um, so like what I'm thinking for this house is I would like to just kind of have no rules, no reals. Like, I mean, I guess it's kind of nice to have some sort of a theme, but no, I'd like to just do a normal house because we have not, okay, that goes back outside. Um, we have not done just a normal, oh, and this has a garage and we have all those new tools. Yeah, I kind of just want to do a normal house uh, just to play with all the new stuff because really I haven't totally gotten familiar with them all. So that's what I'm thinking for this for this place I think unless you guys come up with something different but I really just want to play with all the new things and kind of get reacquainted well not reacquainted but acquainted with them all because honestly like I've sort of put uh, blinders on to a lot of it because we were looking for black and white and anyway um, so this house has a lot of yard and a lot of mess to clean up so that is what I'm thinking for this house. Let's go over to the Home Alone house. I have yet to see that. And I'm really, really excited. I haven't even seen any videos about it. So let's go have a look at that one. Oh, so it is like all Winter Wonderland themed. I wasn't sure if it was just for a limited time. Look at these windows. What a nice house. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying about all your suggestions. Rio had given me a suggestion for this house. I wanted to have a look at it before I kind of commit to anything, but she was thinking, why don't we make it into an apartment building, like with like a shared community, like a laundry facility and maybe a little dog park out back. And I really kind of like that idea. I want to have a look at the house first and just see because this is a huge house. I mean, eventually we unlock them all and we can always come back and do something different with it. But, wow, look at these windows. I love that they're like, so is this a whole house kind of down? No, it's ground level. So the windows are all ground level. Oh, wow. So this is, I, I'm assuming this is based off the movie exactly. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie, so look at it. it's like time stands still we got Christmas um let me know if there's any secret hidden things around here I'll look at the mini map but okay okay so oh so this is actually quite narrow this is like that's the backyard right there I'm trying to get a feel as we're walking through for I think that could work we could have a lobby and some I don't know if we can make mailboxes, have a secured kind of a system where we come in one door and have the secured, oh, that could be, that could be. We could have a couple of bedroom or like rooms down on the main floor. I could see it. I can see it. All right. Okay. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Plastic? Okay. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep on touring. All right, okay. Are these all just windows? Like, they look like they're almost doors. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting. So this, oh, this just goes back out into the hallway. Where's this? What is, oh, it's going to the basement. There's a basement here too. This place is huge. 
Whoa, okay, should we go down to the basement first? It's kind of creepy. No. Oh, that's right. He spilled paint or something down the stairs, didn't he? I can't remember. Oh my god. Oh, we have all these bikes. Oh my gosh. We could use those in the garage in the other place. Oh, what? This goes out. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, all right. So, we could have. Well, we could have the laundry and stuff downstairs. That could be where the laundry room is, I guess. Yeah, because it's sort of in the hallway here. Yeah, that could work. I think that's a really good idea. But it's going to be a lot of work. This house is huge. Oh my gosh, look at all the doors. Okay. Where's that door going? Oh, it's like an ensuite. Oh, so fancy. Okay. This is really, really big. And that's just a window? Okay. Why are some of the windows up high and... That's another thing I have to add to my list of wants. I wish we had just, um, like, even if we can't put windows on the outside, it'd be nice to have, like, kind of windows that we could put as a wall divider, you know, like something so that it's just, or just glass. Just glass would be good to you. Oh, very nice. Okay. Bathroom. Said I don't know if there's anything like there was only a couple houses where there was stuff hidden, but I always wonder if there's more and I'm not seeing it. Oh wow, this is like the panel room. This is not safe for kids. Like just saying, they will just fall out the window. There should at least be like, well, those should be locked. Really, but you should you should be able to drop them. You know, open them from the top down maybe. Because little, little Timmy's going to fall out the window. Anyway. Um, okay. So, yes. This is definitely, I think, I, I kind of can see this whole apartment apartment deal. Um, anyway, guys. You know, I, I don't even know where to begin in this house. Because there is so much stuff. Oh, yeah. Here's the paint that he probably... Oh, look at this. Little footsteps. That's cute. They did a good job on this house. It's really cute. Um, oh, and there's feathers. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. That is so cool. What else have I missed? Huh? I should have watched the movie before I went into this house. Really? There's probably so many different little things that I'm missing out on. Um, anyway, I don't even know where to begin in this house because there's so much furniture that we could even reuse. Um, I don't know if I should just sell everything and start from scratch. I'm thinking that's probably the easiest, but it's like I want to make sure too that, oh, see, like, look at these shelves. Is this a whole unit? Oh, wow. And it comes with all the books. Now that we know we can put books up and down. Also, guys, have we always been able, not always, but have we been able to flip the books for a while and I just never noticed or was that new with the update because I wasn't sure about that because I had heard rumors that they were going to add that but I just had never even noticed anyway let me know if you know excuse me I had to sneeze there uh so anyway yes this is I think I think this might be a good place to do the apartment thing so what is in the back more garbage and then this weird entry. Okay. That's kind of creepy, but that's okay. Oh, we could have like a like a dog park, but then a dog wash as part of the laundry area too. That would be kind of neat. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's... So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I kind of like... I'm looking at the time. HD... TV is coming out like in a week or so. I I think this is a big project to take on right now as much as I'm really excited about it. I feel like maybe we'll go back to the house in the thicket and I will clean it up and and then maybe we will just get started on that one. So let me do a little bit of work 
and then I'll show you kind of it in its like cleaned up version. How about that? Okay, see you guys in a bit. Welcome back guys. I am just sucking up bugs. Um, I think we have this place pretty clean. Uh, there's probably going to be some more stuff. These windows, I did not realize. You have to clean them from the outside. So i got to go out and do that. I think we are pretty good. I think. Garage is all cleaned up. This is outside. It's weird. I just don't remember ever having to do this. I still struggle with this thing. I mean, it's, I guess, a little bit easier to control because it is slower, but I don't know. Okay, there we go. We got one clean window. So it's looking good. This is the backyard, or the backyard, the front yard. Um, I mean, obviously, we got really patchy grass, but you know what? It looks actually a lot better already. So, and I don't know why I should even care so much because look at the neighbors. They never cut their grass. So, yeah, I don't know. Did I miss a spot right there? Right there? I thought I saw a little tuft of grass. Okay, anyway. Um, so, for the most part, this is all cleaned up. Obviously, like I said, I've got to do a lot of windows. Um, but we'll get that done. I won't bore you with all that. And so we just got to decide... Whoa, this is like one little window. Oh, well, that's kind of a pain in the butt. So I've got to do these all separately. So really, it should only take like two swipes if I knew what I was doing. You would think I would by now, but let's just do this last one. And then at least it'll be complete. And there we go. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, okay. So there's a... So what we might do is first off... We might get rid of these doors. There's just so many. I can't even get a feel for this place at all. So let's get rid of the doors. That might help. We're definitely going to be busting down some walls. Um, and yeah, I just got to decide. We'll take the front door off, the back door. I said it because, man, this place was like, had all these tiny little rooms leading into another, I think. I think we're good. We'll get rid of the back door. It's a weird place for back door. That's going to be interesting. And I think we will... Is there lights even in this place? I don't even think there is. Man, this place was stripped dry. Oh, there's one. There's one light. So, front door. So this will be the front entry. Okay. All right. Um... Yeah, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll start by, I think I have to take down all the walls in this place. So this is going to be like a little, this is, this has to have a door. Oh, we got some electrical problems here too. I wonder if there was a, a socket thing down or like a, what do you call them? Those breaker boards or whatever downstairs that we have to fix. We haven't done that in a long time. Electrical, I don't even remember doing in a long time. Okay, there we go. We'll fix this while we're here. So much work. I've forgotten. It's been a long time since I came in and had to... Look at this. It's all dirty. Um, had to clean a house. Like, there was just so much stuff. Outside, inside. I mean, if you've done it, you probably know. But, okay, some of these window sills were dirty that I missed. But I think, I think we got it pretty much licked. So yeah, let me um, bust down some walls, I think, guys. And is there anything else in here? Uh, and we'll have a look at this in the bare bones of it all. All right, guys. I have busted down some walls. And there was a lot of them. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, though. This is kind of cool. Now that we can see what the structure looks like. Um, there's like this, these three spots here for like doors. I'm, I'm just loving that because yeah, I, I can just see. Okay. So is there, so there's a back door here and the front door is here and there's no other doors, right? Okay. I'm like, I'm thinking guys to use like those patio doors is just like a blanket of windows. I think that would be really cool. So 
I mean, I think, you know, as I was busting down all these walls, I was thinking, man, I should have just left this house as is. And the challenge in it could have been just working around all those tiny little room, room, excuse me. Um, I mean, this house is actually quite small, really. I mean, we have the garage and we have this area and it's, yeah, there's not a ton of room. Like we got to put in a bathroom and a kitchen. I just, at first I was thinking this would be an amazing, like just have three windows right across and have just a really nice, I don't know, maybe we could have like a living room kitchen all in this area and then have like a bedroom bathroom back here. It, it's going to have to be a single person's house, I think, because there's not a lot of room. Um, I really wanted to make it a proper house, like have a laundry room. We could sort of fit a laundry room maybe into the garage, but that's what I'm thinking right now, uh, just off the top of my head. Yeah, I think there's, the bedroom's not going to have a lot of... Yeah, we could have, make a cute little ensuite, and then you could have access to it from this side too. Yeah, okay, this is going to be a tiny little house, but I think I think we can work with it. I just want to see really quick what, what those, uh, like these things, I think that would look so nice. Now, we can't put in two doors, right? Oh, we actually could? Really? They let us do that? I just want to see. Not, not that I'm going to do this, but, well, maybe I will. Just kind of look like windows. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> and then if we went, okay, let's just put that in and see. I mean, that could look like the windows beside the doors, or we could do all windows, or we could do all doors. Those kind of do look like windows, don't they? We could get away with this, and then we could have, like, it's going to be kind of weird having two doors opening the same way, but we could just, you know, use the sliding doors, but I kind of like that, and I think we got to make one big, great room of a kitchen, living room kind of a setup. I wish I could change these. Oh, we got brown windows. We may have to go with brown. Why aren't they all different colors? See, this is what drives me crazy. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we may have to change these. They did come in a brown, right? That's kind of cool that you could put the... I didn't realize that you could put two doors in place of a double wide window. So... Is it black? Is it brown? What do we go for here? That's not the right color. I mean, that matches that, but I guess we'll go black because that's the majority. Yeah, it's close. It's not exact, is it? But that's okay. Oh, we've got a, a light switch cover on the ground there. All right, brown it is. We've got to work with brown. Okay, that's fine. I can do it. Okay, I just, this is kind of bug me. Why is this a different color? Okay, so that means we need to put some doors in. We're not going to get a lot done, guys, because this took a long time to um, put together, uh, you know, you know what I mean. It took a long time to do. So we're going to put these kind of doors in, I guess. We're going to put that over here, at least. Is that right? I always have a hard time with these doors. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. So, I mean, is that okay for a front door? Or should we go with the... I just really like these doors. I want to use them. Now, this is going to be a problem. Because what color door do I put in here? Do I go with the... I guess I got to match it. I think we'll match it. So, at least it's all sort of the same color. Maybe we could close this in or something. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got matching doors, matching windows here. I mean, I think, I mean, we could just keep going with the clear door. I don't know. Into the garage. We'll decide on that. I'm not exactly sure yet. 
Because we could still use, yeah, maybe we'll just use this. Because it would be weird seeing inside the garage, maybe. You know, I'll, I'm going to hold off on putting this door in because we may change the location of the door. I'm not sure exactly yet. Might even make the garage a little smaller on this side. So yeah, I'll hold off on that. I think we will... And the shutters are a different color too. Hmm. All right, that's fine, whatever. So here we can go with the two. Uh, I'm thinking this for now, but, oh, but wait, there's this one too. We could have put those all the way across. Ooh, 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 ooh. But I do kind of like the lattice look. Okay, what does this look like? Let's just put it in and see. Hmm. Probably won't look as good having those all the way across. So I think we'll stick with those and I might change these doors out. Yeah, I, I kind of like the look of the others better. All right. There, one thing decided. We've got doors. That's a start, guys. Okay, um, let me let me just see if maybe at least we could maybe do I don't know how much time we have. I gotta I gotta edit this and see how far we are. Um, but we might be able to do like just something small, like a bathroom or maybe even just kind of map out the laundry room. I don't know. You know, I feel like this hallway does have to come out because look, there's like two wall lengths on this side, but only one here. Can we though? Can we bring it in? We can. Okay. I might do that because there's something bugging me about it. Okay. There we go. That's nicely centered now. And I think I can work with that a little better. Okay, let me think about this a little bit, guys. I'm going to see how long our video is going, and then we will see if we can just fit in or squeeze in something at least to get this thing rolling. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm just uh, trying to, you know, I've decided to take this door out, I think. I think we're just going to have a wall here, and then when you come in the door, you're just going to, you know, this will be sort of a little bit of a landing. And I thought maybe... Because when I think about this house, I'm thinking of a young couple just starting out. Where, you know, like at least just a young couple that hasn't started a family yet. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to kind of play it like that. It's going to have a one bedroom. I thought maybe instead of having the door there, maybe we could make sort of a little mud room out of this corner somehow. And they can come in through the mud door or mud room and then that could be the laundry room as well. And then this will be kind of a bedroom, a bathroom. Uh, I'm not sure really what to do with the space. I guess it won't be much. It'll just be a back landing. And yeah, so I thought we could do something like that. So I'm not sure how exactly to work it into this corner. It's either gonna have to expand out, but now that we've opened up this nice hallway, um, I might have to impede a little bit on the kitchen or the, the bedroom. Yeah, we may have to because I, I don't really know. So there's going to have to be a door over here somewhere to come into the kitchen. Okay, guys, I have been looking at this and I've been thinking. And I think what we're going to do, I as much as I want to have a mudroom off the garage because that kind of makes more sense to me, um, there's just not enough space. Like, I mean, I, this is would be sort of the bathroom. This tiny little thing would be the bedroom. We can't really impede on the bedroom any more than this unless we take away from the garage. And I really want to have a garage. So I was thinking about this little area and the fact that, I mean, we don't need another door. Not to mention, this is very narrow back here. Like, it's sort of like, it's almost like the side yard. So I don't think that we really need to have, I mean, this will be a mud room. We don't really need to have access to the backyard here because we have access to the backyard here. I mean, we're still gonna have access to the backyard, but it's gonna be sort of like a side door. 
So I think what we're going to do is have this the mudroom. We're going to make this into a laundry facility because otherwise this is sort of a waste of space. So we know after you come in from working in the garden or something, you come in, there's a mudroom here and we'll close this off. We'll have laundry facilities and just sort of like a little mudroom where we have like, I don't know if we'll have a closet or what, but this will be sort of that space. And then we kind of come into here and like I said, bedroom, bathroom to the right. We'll have a garage. We'll have to figure out where to put the door to the garage now. And then we'll have like a living room, kitchen. I think it'll be beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is, um, not sure, like I said, how much time we have. I haven't had a chance to look, but maybe we'll just try and do something with this mudroom today. So let me think about, cause I gotta uh, maybe take down some of these walls now again. I'm not sure how I want this set up yet. But I think that's the plan, guys. So we're going to work with that, and we'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so I think I have like a sort of a general layout of what I want to do here. So this is going to be our little mudroom. I've already put a door in. I think I think that'll be... Oops. I put, <laughs> speaking of, I put in these pillars. I'm not sure if they're going to stay yet. I think I've decided for this house that I think we're going to go a little more earthy. We have been doing black and white and colors lately, so I kind of want to go back to just like a nice earthy sort of a, a feel. I think it fits house in the thicket. It's sort of like, you know, it's kind of like a woodsy kind of house, sort of. So I think that's what we're going to do anyway. Um, so I just wanted to bring you back to show you what I've done so far, which isn't much, but I just kind of decided at least where our rooms are going to be. So like I said, this is going to be some sort of a, a little mud room. We're going to have like maybe some cabinets in here, maybe a closet if we can fit it. And that's what I'm going to work on. And then I'll show you guys when it's done. I think this is going to be where the bathroom is. And I wanted to have an entry kind of this way. Um, for the people like you know for guests and stuff because we can only fit one bathroom in this house so um, they need to access it but I thought it would be nice for them to have their own entry too just you know for when they're in their bath bedroom so this will be their bedroom hopefully it's big enough it's hard to tell right now but I think if we put the bed this way it should be okay because this window is sort of off and I don't know how to work around that so I think if we face the bedroom the other way or the bed the other way I think it should be okay just got to figure out where to put a door for there and whether or not I want to keep these things it was just feeling really big and I wanted to kind of define that area but then this is going to be kind of a waste of space so I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do but I sort of was just playing around and check it out to see what it would look like I have this weird little corner here that it just kind of you know it kind of just ends up like that so I'm not sure if I'm gonna fill this in or try to find something that will maybe go in there so that might be subject to change too we could always just you know like I said fill it in with some blocks or whatever and it'd be kind of a waste of space so yeah I just kind of wanted to keep like sort of this open to that window so that's why I didn't want to bring the pillars back anymore. I mean, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. But like I said, I'm not sure if these are going to stay. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this little laundry room. So I'll bring it back after I get a few things because I think we're running sort of a little bit, a little bit late, a little bit. So I'm going to work on it a bit off, off, uh, off camera. I, we should have tile in here or something, I'm thinking, hey? For what kind of hmm oh it might be kind of fun to play with these hexagons I really have not yet oh these are carpets ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought they were like little tiles yeah I think this might be a good area definitely for some kind of hard floor anyway but I'm not sure what yet um, so we used I don't know. I mean, we could we could use some some carpets. There's so many new ones, so that could be a good thing. Oh, this is a fitted one too. Hmm. Hmm. Storage is kind of weird. This is kind of a neat carpet. It really is. I just want to see what this looks like on a big scale. It's a little bit stripy. A little bit. Yeah, I don't know. That we might be able to move this in. Sorry, my dog's working, so I had to like kind of just stop for a second. 
We might, oh, that would be nice. What I really want to work with is, um, I want to work with the new tile, that stone. I, I really want to use that. I've been dying to use that. So where were those? But yes, this one. This one I want to use very, very badly. And I just want to see what it would look like with this flooring. Yeah, we're going to work with that in some in some way. I'm not sure exactly if we're going to have it on the wall, if we're going to have it on the pillars. Not sure yet, but I do want to work with that. I want to have some of this natural stone look. So anyway, uh, let me get going on this laundry room. We'll belt this off and then we are going to probably be done for today. Like I said, it was a slow start, but it's a start. And next time, like, I mean, we should be able to, to build off quite a bit of this next time, but I always say that and then I get one room done. So we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna work on this. Um, I'm gonna have to put in some installations for the washer. I'm kind of thinking maybe even if we pull this out, maybe we could have like a cabinet on either side. It would be nicely built in around this window. It could work. It could. Hmm. Kind of cabinets do we have again that would kind of be good for sort of a mud room like these are all kind of the right hmm, these are sort of the right oh that might will they fit oh they will fit on either side all right well we could do something like this i was trying to find a cabinet that was sort of the same height so actually sideways that looks great that does look good okay so i used this one uh, I don't know if it matches like well I, I'm not sure about the wood color yet but I wanted to show you guys so I thought maybe we could set it up like this maybe we'll put cabinets on either side and we could even just put like a little shelf or something but of course I'll make it all matchy 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 so it's pretty centered it's not bad but that could be good I like the way this looks side sideways we could do a lot with those cabinets knowing that they kind of fit together like that. I'm not sure which way I had it face. They're back to back. So yeah, it depends. I don't know if they fit this way together very tight. No, they don't. So they only, so that's kind of the, the most that you could. Okay. But that's good to know. I, I kind of wish that there was, you know, space underneath. I don't know. Maybe I won't use those. I don't know. But I just wanted something about the same height. Because you know when you're doing laundry, you want to fold your clothes. So I might, I'll see if I can find something better. But I, I don't think, I don't know if there's much that size is the problem. Oh, there's one that was like this, only it has drawers. Where was that one? This one. Oh, it's just a little bit off. If I moved one of those over just a smidge... Cause then we could use at least the drawers that might look nice okay so we might do that this is kind of a nice little cabinet but it's gonna like that would be a nice height for in between the two but it's i mean i'd have to spread it way out so i don't know if i want to do that but anyway guys god this looks terrible right now <laughs> uh, i will make it look pretty though anyway we'll be back let me fool around with this a little bit and like i said i'll probably just end up like maybe with a closet and a bench Maybe some storage. We'll see what we can fit in here. But it's how it's it's a start. It's well, it's not really a start. We got the machines and the rest will probably go. But anyway, you have an idea of what I'm doing at least. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I think I have this spread out enough that we can fit this cabinet in and we have a couple of cabinets on the wall. I think we're gonna go with those ones. I decided to play around with these sauna benches because Two of them actually fit just perfectly in here. So uh, where were those now? Okay, that took me a long time to find. Okay, so I think they have, yeah, they have the beach color in both the long and the short. And if we put them together like that, we can have a nice little bench here that kind of matches. And then we can buy a couple more of these. So we're gonna buy many of the beach. And I thought maybe we could stack these. So if we turn them this, um, turn, let's turn them this way. 
um, we could stack these and they'll look like kind of shelves, I think. Let's see. How high can we go? Should we go that high? That could be good enough, but we could if we wanted. Put one more. We can always take one down. There we go. That's as high as it will. See, I mean, that looks like a nice little corner shelf, I think. So I thought we could put some towels on there and I got some paints out. I decided to go with a light blue floor uh, just because I thought it kind of looked nice and crisp and clean. The white just looked really white. So we'll probably paint um, maybe some more blue in here or uh, I'm not sure exactly. But, I, I mean, there's not much else we can really do in here. Oh, we need a closet door. I made a little closet in this corner. So, let's look at doors. And I do believe, oh, we could make, hmm, color, color. Cedar is kind of dark. We might be able to get away with this one. Will it kind of match? Let's just see. It's darker. Hmm. You know, maybe we'll just match it with this door color. Hmm. Yeah, that might be okay. It's, it's a weird room because there's two different colors of wood going on. So I wanted to make sure whatever I picked in all this was sort of the same. We can't really get away with... I mean, there was other cabinets. I think we'll just kind of stick with the white for now. I... Yeah, I think. I think this is good with the dark because it's right next to the other door. So we'll leave it with the dark door on the closet. And yeah, what are we going to do for paint color? I mean, there's going to be a lot of blue if we do blue. This one's a little bit, mm, but it's a little bit, I don't know. Maybe too different. We could go with a totally different color. Like that's not bad because it's a little bit darker. We're not going to put too much paint in here, just a little bit. Maybe two walls. We'll leave the rest just maybe white. I went ahead and painted it all white just because, uh, there we go. Okay, we could do something like stripes or something, but there's so much on the wall that we wouldn't really see the stripes anyway. You know, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all, but I think it would look nice against this wall too. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. And if we leave this, so that's white. Gosh, it looks almost gray to me. I mean, I don't think that we would want to put blue, like a lighter blue. Because then it would be a lot of blue. Hmm. We could go with like a, a you know, more neutrally color, like kind of like the cabinets. Let's just look at the paint really quick. You know, they have like a light cream. That might be, that might be actually kind of nice. Let's just see. So it kind of ties in with the, I think that's about the closest we'll get. Uh, there's a gray beige, there's light cream. That's the one we have, natural beige also try that. I kind of like the light cream better, I think. I think we're going to go with that. It's just a little bit brighter. Okay, I decided to paint the inside of the windsill the same color as the wall, which I don't often do, but I think I think we're going to do that this time around. I got to try and remember to do that in the rest of the house. Okay, so if we go with something like this, I think, I think it's okay. There is a bright peach too. Well, I kind of actually like that. <gasps> I don't know why, but I do. It's just not as, ah, oh, okay, we're changing it. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that actually. I think, I don't know, there's something brighter about it. So, so we've got some color going on. So now all we've got to do is put some finishing touches, guys, and then we are done. I think it should be okay. Yeah, it's so nice to play with some other colors for a change again. I mean, we could go with the lighter blue, too. There's not much of a difference, is there? You know what? I <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm changing my mind again. I don't know. It's just a little bit more subdued. I kind of like it. I don't mind the dark blue. It's not that big of a difference, but I think I'm going to change it. Yes. Okay. I'm not changing my mind again. I like this. I like it. It's just a little bit less bright. But we got 
a nice contrasting color with the peach. Okay, so now we just gotta decorate, put some stuff in, and I think this will be pretty much it for our for our um, for our bathroom. I might go ahead and reside this. I really wish that you could keep this texture, like I mean the, the wooded look across, but just paint it. Because when you paint it, it just turns into a plain wall. But I think what we'll do is since we want to play with that stone, I might put some of the stone up. Um, like maybe on the, I don't know. Yeah, we might do the smaller part in the stone and then we can carry on the stone in some places on the inside. But we definitely need to add something to this. I'm not sure if this will look good with it because I really don't know what else to do. I mean, we could paint, I guess. We could just paint it a brown. Actually, maybe that would be better. Yeah, we could paint the main part okay yeah i don't i'm not exactly sure what what color to do with it this is supposed to be cocoa but it just has always looked orange to me so we might pick one of these three to go with it we'll see we'll see how it looks yeah i think we're gonna do something like that i i kind of like that i kind of like it so that's what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna just plug away at this a little bit try and get the outside of this house started because we definitely have to spruce it up a bit looks like it has gone through the ringer so i think i think this might work out okay this is like kind of um i don't even know what this is it's supposed to be coffee with cream i think but i kind of like the two together and we're going kind of earthy, so, and I, I don't usually paint the outside of the houses so dark, so this will be something different. Anyway, guys, let me um, decorate the laundry room, and we will see you guys in a bit. Welcome back, guys. I am just putting in some finishing touches. I think we are almost done. I think this is the most adorable little laundry room ever maybe it's just because I haven't really done very many of them so it was something different to do but uh, I just wanted to find just some oh where's the protection yeah I'm just gonna put some boots in the closet we got a little laundry hamper in there um, that's about all we can do and this is what I've done so far it's so cute I'm a little disappointed there's not more colors of towels to choose from but uh, we use some of the boxes that are so adorable and they kind of just match the color perfectly in here. We ended up going with the dandelion uh, blinds, which I just thought the dark color in there sort of played with the dark color in the doors. We've got some pictures up that are so fitting for a laundry room. There was one more I wanted to grab for up there, but I haven't grabbed it yet. The only other thing I really want to do is I did want to... Remember I was saying I wanted to do a proper house with like light switches and everything. I'm just trying to find where they go. Um, yeah, like with plugins. And because I mean, well, for starters, we would need to be plugging in our washer and dryer. So like it needs a plug in way down there. But I also feel like maybe there would have been one on. This is where we put ours in Canada anyway. I think there might be one on this wall somewhere. This probably isn't to code. Maybe I'll put it in the corner. I could actually put something in the corner. Maybe a little chair or bench or something. That would be nice. So I want to pull, I'm not going to pull the washer out, but we're going to try and at least put one plug in on this wall. Um, maybe one that, actually, you know what? Let's tuck it in there. And then the washer technically would actually reach it. We'll just tuck it in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I feel better about that, and then we need a, oh, we need lights, too. I'm so excited about the way this turned out. I really, really am. I think there's supposed to be new light switches, so let's use those. Yeah, let's use those in this place. Okay, we're just going to go with, I think, white and silver. So we'll put our plugins there. I don't have any lights yet, but we will. But look at it, just so, so, so cute. Gosh, I wish my laundry room was this um, organized, I guess. Uh, yeah, we just have our little laundry basket on the bench, but this is like a bench you can sit down, put your shoes on. 
we could put something in this corner let me find something i'm thinking actually maybe just like a little i don't know if there's a really narrow table okay i found that picture i wanted to use it's a little tiny bit blurry but i think it'll be fine so this is going to i think this is going to finish off this room i'm wondering if i should maybe i shouldn't make it bigger because it's already so blurry yeah let's just turn it down just a little bit has little clothes pins on it and it says lost socks seeking, seeking soulmates it's so cute want it for my own laundry room i think that's good guys i do think that's good i wish we had room for art on this wall but we don't i just put up some little hangers because i thought if she's like i don't know drying towels or something she could put them down there not assuming it's gonna be a girl doing all the laundry what am i saying i am so excited that i can pick like different colored uh flower pots and stuff because i have yet to be able to do that is there different colors of those bowls oh my gosh there is too oh we could have a nice dark bowl i've trained myself not to look for color because of that last house so let's burned beach i think sounds really nice or maybe a large this could be her her bowl for going out in the garden and getting some yeah getting some vegetables or something but yes yeah, so we have these little hangers for hanging things and uh, I think I think we're done we got I used some of the, the new carpet to just kind of make our own sized carpet and we got some pictures up there but I think that's about all we can do in a laundry room guys I think it turned out so so adorable I love it I love it. There was some blinds that were the, kind of the same color as the wall, but I kind of felt like we needed something, just a little something. Um, it might need a few more accessories, uh, maybe, because we only have one plant, so we might put a couple more plants in, but before we do, I'm just gonna show you that I completed the outside too, so it totally spruced up, like it's like night and day, what it looked like before. So we have some stone there and we use that coffee with cream on here. We can get rid of these things now. And I think it turned out really good. I think it's gonna work out really good with our kind of, you know, more earthy feel kind of house. So let me just put in a couple more things, guys. And uh, I think that's gonna be it. Okay, guys, we're done. I didn't add too much more. I just added a few more flowers. I put a little table in the corner here with a plant and a bowl. I think, did I show you that already? I don't know. But, uh, and yeah, we just put a, I put a gardening book in here and I think that's about it. We had put that sign up, a little sign picture. I think this is done, guys. I have a plug-in. Um, I mean, the only other thing I could maybe add to make it a little bit more realistic is maybe some ventilation, like a ventilation grid, grid, I don't know what you call that. Um, yeah, maybe like, I don't know, would there be ventilation in the closet? There could be, there could be. Let's put that in. Yeah, it kind of gives it just that little bit more of a real feel, I think. Um, I like my registers are in the floor where I come from so I mean I don't know I could put one up here I guess just to kind of give it give it that little bit of realness I think we're done guys I think this looks really cute I hope you guys like the way it turned out I'm so excited to be working with whatever colors I want again Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Oh, wait, wait, we forgot. We forgot lights. Okay, let's look at lights really quick. All right, I think we'll just use, I don't know, like there's not really great colors, but there's like this one says pink. Is it really pink? I guess it is sort of like a, hmm. I was hoping that there might be a dark, well, it's, I mean, this is pretty close to the color of the, I think we'll just try and get away with this one. I think we're just gonna put one right in the middle. I think that should be good enough. Let's turn on the light. Oh, we should put a, another light switch over here. All right, we're gonna put a light switch there because we have a double, so you can turn it on here and turn it off there. It's like a two-way switch. Look at that. Ta-da, we are done. I feel like this has to go back a little bit. 
Yeah, I think that works okay. Let's just open the stars so we can have a look from a distance. I think I think that should be fine. I'm just wondering if I should center it over there. I think that looks good. There we go. We are done, guys. I hope you like it. I think it turned out really cute. I love the sauna shelves like this. I think that turned out so amazing. And we are frozen. Okay. And we're back. Sorry. Sorry. It's still freezing up on me. So anyway, I hope you guys like it. I think we remembered everything. Got a little place here for hanging our coats when we come in. And I'm really, really happy with this. Anyway, I hope you guys are too. We will talk to you guys soon. And I, how many days is it till HGTV comes out? Like four or something. Yeah, four days, guys. Wow. Well, we'll try and do... I, I'm going to see if I can get another video out of this one before we move on to HGTV. And if not, then um, unfortunately I didn't get a key. And I know there's a lot of big YouTubers out there that are already putting videos out of it. But I mean, say la vie. Us little guys get left behind. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we will. Uh, we'll see you guys all in the next one. Hope you guys are all doing good. Talk to you soon. Bye.